St. Thomas, Jamaica, the diaspora, and the rest of the world. St. Thomas is said to be, some time ago, the poorest parish in Jamaica. But I will not be sharing that with you today, as my opinion of wealth as against riches differs. Since emancipation, the Negro race suffered immensely due to the unequal distribution of wealth, whereby some great minds with good ideas perished. Great minds are still here, but they are bottlenecked. They do not have the resources to really vent their views and good opinions. As a result today, I am going to share a thought with you, and the thought is St. Thomas. St. Thomas is situated on the southeastern tip of the island, with Portland to the north. And as you know, how we drive in Jamaica, we drive on the left, and the driver is always on the right of the vehicle. This is indicating that St. Thomas was already placed at the eastern end in the driver's seat and was just waiting for the opportune time. The passengers are on board. It has an unlimited capacity, but those who are on board are already wearing their seat belts, not because they expect a turbulent journey, but that safety should be practiced at all times. The first passenger behind the engineer, which is the people of St. Thomas, is Road. And here we are promised better roads. The evidence is there as we speak, and we look forward to greatness. Because to view St. Thomas, it will be too expensive to travel by here or by sea. So the roads are vital and important. Next we look at underdeveloped spaces. We have underdeveloped spaces. We have undeveloped spaces, and we have developed spaces. So this, in my mind, should be the heartbeat of a good and long-term investor to look at. We look at quarries, where each day thousands of tons of construction, sand and stones exit this parish. The same amount is being used in this parish also, and I understand some for export. We look at water. We have at least a million gallons of water are being piped to the corporate area each day. And there's no charge. We look at transportation. We have thousands of people communicate or let us say commute between Morant Bay, St. Thomas and Kingston. Not taking into account the internal means of travel. We look at the old Goodyear factory and its entire premises, which I understand is some 40 acres or more. It is being cited for the new town center, which is another feather in the hat of St. Thomas. We look at the Bustamante Bridge, which is still the longest bridge over any bridge stream along any main road throughout Jamaica. 
we look at the plant and garden river referred to as PGR it's the only river in Jamaica that runs directly from west to east and passes through Bath down to Golden Grove into the sea we look at Old Pier and the New Pier where we have white sand beaches and these areas are still to be scratched I am inviting the diaspora to make their input which is not necessarily that of finance or anything physical but to help the people of St. Thomas to market the unscratched jewels that they have with them on top legacy is here to help and it's asking that as you listen to or as you watch this broadcast you pass it on to someone else and press your subscribe button so that this vehicle St. Thomas which is an express vehicle that is not dropping off but picking up customers or passengers as it go along you will be informed of the new passengers that is picked up along the way.